So here I am again with another video on an AC Delco. Just to begin with, I'm not sure if any of these AC Delcos I've done are made in China, but uh, let's just say, hey, uh, they got some funky writing on the top of them. But I don't know if they were made in China, and I'm sorry if I misled anybody, because my sources did not prove right on that, as I, as I noticed. But here we go at the AC Delco. This is the UPF 48R. So this is the Ultra Guard oil filter, AC Delco. Uh, by the way, General Motors does not make oil filters, and AC Delco is generally used on. Uh, let's say General Motors vehicles, but they can also, they also make them for a numerous amount of other types of vehicles. Like this type here. Uh, like the rest of the 48s I was showing are all and can all fit on my uh, Jeep Patriot. So, the, wow, that's product of USA. And let me see if I can get that number in there. It's pretty hard to see it so there's the date code now there is not a lot of information on this one but I noticed the inside of this filter is definitely different than the other uh, AC Delcos I did look at and this one has quite a different weight to it this thing is pretty heavy at 326 grams, so this is pretty beefy. So I'm sure this one has, you know, a, a different type of core in it and everything. But there it is. Uh, let me get set up here and I will start taking it apart. Okay, back again. Uh, had to check some specs on uh, this filter. And, uh, well, I'll get into it, but this filter is, uh, actually has a 98% uh, flow efficiency, or uh, how to say it, has a, well, let's just read it here, 98% multi-pass efficiency at 25 to 30 microns, and has a burst strength that is five times greater than any normal filter. So, hey, this is probably a very thick case. That is what I read from the site, actually, on General Motors. So, um, just trying to do a little research on these. I thought I had this one researched, but I couldn't find my paper that I had for it. Uh, this bypass valve looks very thick, and it's really hefty. So, let me take a look at that. And that is 8 grams. Hmm, that is nice. 8 grams is not bad. Uh, this thing does feel awfully heavy. and It's just very heavy. I saw. Uh, this filter at Rock Auto cost me $10.85 uh, for the filter. At least that's what I believe it cost me. Um, yeah, pretty sure after the exchange and everything, because I live in Canada and Rock Auto does not. Okay, I'll get back at it. <sighs> Distractions. Gosh, I've been very distracted in this video so far anyways for some reason. Just... This is a very thick case. It does say heavy duty shell material. Great, that's what it has. I do believe I've cut one of these apart before, but I can't remember. And this one though is going along with the last couple of 48s I cut apart. So I'll get her cut apart and then uh, join up again. Okay, there we go, yes, that is a very thick shell to cut apart. That was insane. All right. Uh, there we go. Got her apart. Oh, by the way, 
And the other number on it is 12694692. And yes, it, uh, uh, I guess our, it's, some of these actually say Ultra Guard Gold, but this one just says Ultra Guard, so I'm not sure. Ah, uh, that, is that nylon or, um, that's not rubber. It doesn't feel like silicone. I will check that. Well, lo and behold, that is AEM, ethylene acrylic rubber. This thing is, uh, how many of these have I actually seen before? So that is uh, something new for me. I don't know. Maybe I've had a few of them apart before where it's had that. But that just does not feel like the kind of stuff I'm actually used to touching in a filter. This feels so soft. This stuff is very soft. As you can see, you can do that. And it does kind of come back to shape after a while. <laughs> this base plate is insanely thick. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six holes, as you can see. And by the way, the uh, base plate actually probably does hold in here really nice when I took it apart. Didn't, didn't come out too easy because it has all these notches here to hold it in. That was very nice. But this base plate is insanely, uh, really thick. And how many threads do we have here? Uh, one, two, three... Looks like four threads. Could be five if you kind of squint, but it looks like four. If that's insane. That is a crazy uh, heavy duty base plate. Could this filter be as good or very thick this can was by the way. Not as thick as uh, some of the other race ones I've done or even the, uh, uh, I'll think of it. Okay, back to this. Uh, move that aside for now. Uh, yeah, this is something, isn't it? That, like, why, what was I talking about? This was like 20 minutes ago. Somebody came in and just wanted to talk, so. <laughs> um, right, this should be in the same category maybe as the uh, Canon. Uh, the Fram Racing. Uh, some of the higher-end ones, but I will put this more in the category of the ultra synthetic the Wix XP Kind of like filters this case is insane on these. I always knew it was <laughs> But yeah, that is some thick metal on the case and very thick base plate. That's beautiful uh, Yeah, let's take this out. Of course, it's got Stamp steel. I know I don't like stamp steel, but what are you gonna do? You got stamp steel, you got a nice, well, that's got a lot of spring on it. That's actually not bad. Uh, that actually open. Probably one side would open and let oil through. See, doing that, there's not much pressure it takes to do, do that to open it, so. Uh, what's the weight of this? Uh, it's probably this, uh, nine grams, wow. That's actually more than I thought. And the cup. 72 grams. And this whole assembly here is 76 grams. Wow. So let's move that aside. Let's take a look at the money maker here. This is why we all would buy a filter like this because of how good the filtration would be. But as we can see, uh, sadly, the pleats are not really lined up very well. Get thicker through here, thicker, and then they bunch up again here, and then where it seals together. Uh, it's, it's not really centered in there very well, it looks like, but uh, it's, it's in there. The glue is... Well, there's a lot of glue, boy. They fill this thing up with glue right, right up. And uh, I guess that's the way they make filters. <laughs> but uh, yeah, everything, the, the, the steel ends feel really nice, actually. They feel really strong. So th this filter is built 
for some strength. And uh, this cup here, though, this is insane. Uh, that's I like the cup. I always like it when a filter shows that they actually care about giving you a good product, and it's a very thick type of, uh, of you know, uh, manufacturing. Uh, this is blended media, so I'll say though that it's uh, what is it, cellulose synthetic media, I believe it says here. So it's cellulose synthetic media, and yeah, it seems okay, seems nice and soft and pliable. So I think it's really it's not hard like some of the other ones you touch. This one is very soft and pliable. Um, I'm going to cut the filter media off this, and then we're going to go from there. So I've got her cut, and uh, let's see how well she pulls out of here. Um, I'll just do that. So, stuff feels really good. This actually, this uh, filter media, it uh, feels pretty... It's actually a lot softer to the touch and lighter than I thought it would be. Uh, it does feel like really good filter media. And, oh, these things are punched together pretty good here. That uh, took a little bit to tear apart. Ooh, my camera here a bit. I think I moved it. Um, this stuff, yeah. What is this? The cellulose synthetic media? Uh, yeah, it looks like pretty good stuff. I, I don't think it's any different though from uh, the regular filter for some reason. I, I just feel like this stuff is like the regular pH 48. PH? Yeah, PF, PH. It's PH. Like the regular PH48, so um, it looks fine. It does a fine job, I'm sure. But, uh, hmm. well, I'm going to measure it and we'll get a sense of how much filtration you actually get with this filter. It looks like you might get less than the other filters. So here's how it is, 51 inches long, two, or two, one and three quarter inches thick. So I don't think you get as much with this uh, classification of 48 uh, that you would with a normal um, pH 48. You get a better built filter in the end though with it being so tough as far as I know but uh, I'm not an expert so that's uh, 12 grams of filtration there and uh, I, I know we all think of uh, you know the AC Delcos is having the 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 plastic cores and everything that are wide open well, this one's got the uh, the metal core in the um, center and uh, spiral round steel core. And, uh, you know, it has, it says it's like stronger than the, uh, the other cores, but who knows? It probably is because it is made out of steel. But I'm not a big favorite of Lovers, and, but I've never seen one fail. Honestly, I've never seen one fail. But I don't know if I'd want this. There's not much room through these lovers. And if I was running thicker oil, uh, it probably would float through it just fine. But I've never been a big component for the lovers in a filter. These look actually really good, though, compared to some of those other ones I've seen. These ones actually look like they have some pretty good slots on them. So... Uh, uh, this one's definitely a better filter than some I've seen. So, uh, in the end, when I use this, oh, definitely. <laughs> this filter is built strong. Uh, filtration just looks the same as the pH 48, though, that I did earlier. Uh, in an upcoming video, maybe in a week, couple of weeks, I'll have them all together again. The E, the regular 48, and this one, and we'll compare them all together. And uh, we'll... Well, we'll get a look at all of them together. I uh, don't think this has been a 
great uh, video for me, in fact, actually, but I film it, I'll put it out. There's been way too many interruptions here at work, and this has actually taken me more than or less uh, two hours to get through now with a lot of interruptions. And I hate it when I do that because then I forget when I come back uh, what I was talking about or I just like, it's the, the guy who works here with me isn't here today. So it's hard to do this one. And I, I wanted to get this one done this week. So um, thank you for watching. I uh, hope I didn't get anything wrong. And uh, well, if you like the video, please like. And if you want to see more, then subscribe then. That would be nice.